How about another Clooney story? Okay, go ahead. Took a shit in the cat box. Do you know that one? Yes, I've heard that one. (laughs) I think he told that on The Tonight Show once. Yeah, man. I'll tell you a story about George Clooney. I was walking into the Hollywood YMCA, because I would go every morning, uh, and there was this car in the parking lot there. Uh, George loves his cars. It was a black Porsche with a, um, I call it a, a... tray on the back you know it had a wing or whatever they call them a spoiler tail whale tail right that's it and uh he came out of the the y and saw me looking at it and he said obnoxious huh (laughs) i said yeah kind of yeah but self-effacing humor yes beat him to the punch yep uh that car was it a convertible I don't know if it was or not i don't remember but it was just as shiny as new and as black as can be there was a night early on in the yard where he and i went to a party together he picked me up in his black porsche convertible and we'd just been this was in the old days when people would give you free stuff because you were on tv uh so we had a couple of hugo boss suits that they had sent us so we thought we looked pretty sharp and we're in his convertible and we're driving up through the hollywood hills and it's kind of a warm summer night and i just thought man this is this and blues traveler just cut an album i can remember it was playing on the radio and uh I said, this is great having a convertible. And then we went to the party, and uh, I had too much to drink. And I had to work the next morning. So I, somehow I got home, and I got up, and I was at work, and I'm stumbling through it. And George was off, and he comes on to the sound stage, And I said, hey, what are you doing here? And he goes, I got a little present for you, buddy. And he dingles, jangles these keys. And I go outside, and there's a 1960 Oldsmobile convertible Dynamic 88 painted two-tone blue and white. And he goes, I've had this car for 10 years. When uh, I bought it when I was on another show called ER, when I was about your age, and I think you should have it. And he gave me the car right then and there. And uh, I called it the gift that kept on taking <laughs> because, man, I put so much money into that car. You could start it with a Phillips head screwdriver. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it was a very generous gift. I actually ended up auctioning off that car. Somebody paid $20,000 for that car because of its pedigree, and we sent it to the Red Cross just after Hurricane Katrina. Oh, cool. Yeah. 